Good morning and welcome to this edition of Night Vision News. I am Brianna. And I'm Zach. November is Native American Heritage Month. This month is for honoring Native cultures and, re and remembering the journey and difficulties they had to endure. Just in time for this month, Killers of the Flower Moon is a blockbuster film that was released into theaters on October 20th. The film was a dramatic story based on the book and the true events of the murders of members of the Osage Nation in the 1920s. There were approximately 60 murders of wealthy Osage Native Americans. The film takes place in Oklahoma and tells of how the Osage Nation discovered oil on their own land. Their discovery brings tons of wealth to their tribe, but it also makes them a target of some greedy men looking to get a cut of their wealth for themselves. The film follows Ernest Buckhart, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, and his Osage wife, Molly Buckhart, played by Lily Gladstone. It is a tragic story, but it's a true story that needs to be told. We would definitely recommend getting out to see the movie if you have a chance. Northwest Classen has a significant population of Native Americans. We caught up with some of them this week to learn more about their culture. We are the Native Knights of Northwest Classen. My name is Mariah Lopez. I am with the Big Horses as my family name, and my tribe is Cheyenne Arapaho. My name is Vivian Michelle Parker, and I'm Comanche, Kikapu, and Perry Band, Potawatomi, but I represent the Comanche Nation as their Comanche Nation Junior Princess of 2023 to 2024. My name is Andrew Gregory, and I'm part of Sac and Fox Tribe. Um, my dress is with the Ojibwe Tribe, and it represents a medicine dress as a feeling. These teeth right here, they mean um, that I'm the only daughter to my mother and my father. And then up here, Right here, as you guys can see, this it comes from my Kickapoo side. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to represent the trees and the flowers. And then basically the rest of it, like the bottom and the fringes, when you're walking, it's supposed to like move the bugs out of your way so you don't hurt them. This dress, I um, it was my mother's, and then when, when she became princess and stuff like that, and now it's mine. So that's this. This is something that tells a story. My crown, you can see I have a centerpiece, which is an eagle feather. This is an eagle feather. It means it's it means a lot to a lot of tribes around the area or just any tribe. This is what you would consider as indigenous clothes. This is what you would consider as regalia. Well, I'm the descendant of Quanta Parker and we're mostly known for him himself because he did a lot of successful things for our tribe and put his people before himself and that's something that a lot of people know us for. People know us for our, our horsemanship too because we're great horse people. So what I'm wearing is called a ribbon vest and we actually made it in Brother Brother which is part of Native Knights and anybody can join that really. Even if you're not even Native. So the cool thing about joining Native Knights Club is that it's open to the school and everybody in the school. And it's on Wednesdays, and you could just go there, talk to Miss Marks about it, find another Native student that already is in it, and you could just go to it. It's Jay. My name is Miss Marks. I'm the Native advisor here. I'm um, from the Muscogee tribe. So one thing that we try to emphasize is um, being um, Halloween is our culture is not our costume. Costumes are fake and pretend and make believe. And our culture is not, it's far from fake. Our tribal wear, the best way to call it would be either tribal wear or regalia, but never ever address it as a costume. That we have our upcoming powwow at Grant High School, November 11th at um, Saturday. It's open and free to the public and the community. It's a great time for um, community to come out and get involved. Um, for people to, um, who never seen our culture, I would like to invite you guys to come out to um, check out the dances. Um, just bring your own chair, um, many vendors, and so i just like to invite the public to come out. So, thank you. OKCPS has a full schedule for the month of November. You can scan the QR code on the screen to see the entire schedule. We want to highlight the annual contest powwow that will take place on November 11th at U.S. Grant High School. There is a Veterans Dance at 1 p.m. And, and there will be free supper at 5 p.m. 
The grand entry starts at 6 p.m. It's going to be a great time, so make sure you mark your calendar for the powwow on November 11th. I want to remind you that the Northwest Class Lane Academy will be hosting their annual career fair on November 9th in the small gym. This career fair gives you the chance to get to know industry professionals and to talk to people in various career fields. It's a fantastic opportunity to figure out what careers might interest you after high school. All health, science, education, human services, and culinary academy students are invited to come. Make sure you mark your calendars for November 9th for the career fair. The softball and volleyball teams have officially closed their seasons. Our girls volleyball team finished 19-9 and with notable wins over Santa Fe South and Tecumseh. Our girls softball team finished 15-5 and and finished second in the Turnpike 44 tournament. We were able to talk to some seniors from the softball and volleyball teams to ask them about the memories they made this year with their teammates. Um, since it's my first year, I think one of the, my favorite memories was, a, a, it was actually a practice. We were all like goofing around and not taking it serious and Brock had said something and he knows I throw my glove at him whenever. Wasn't expecting it and the practice, it was the best practice we've ever had. It was quite hilarious actually. Um, and then we went to Tulsa Hill, I believe, or Memorial, and the bathrooms did not work. So, but yeah. Oh, it meant the most to me. It like just set my whole uh, senior year expectations. And with the amazing group of girls, it just achieved higher than I thought. Um, I thought I wasn't gonna have a senior year due to me transferring, but it it sailed over my head so quickly, and it was just the most important year of my life, actually. And just with the group of girls, it just went smoothly. It was very important. Uh, probably uh, beating Classen in previews and just all around becoming like a tight. We were a better team. We were underdogs. And we definitely came out and showed uh, what we could do. It meant a lot being my senior year and it being like my last time playing in school probably. Um, I don't know, I, I like to end it with a great, amazing coach and an amazing team. Like I said, we were underdogs and we came out on top and yeah. Um, like every team, we have our ups and downs many times, but overall I was really proud of the girls and how we finished. Uh, well, the addition with Tatiana Valdez was very, very um, important to us. I mean, she brought a lot to our team and added so much to our team. So um, with her and Aram and her serves, I think, and Melanie and cheering for us, like it was a blessing to have each um, senior that we did have this year. Um, I think, I mean, we lose Tatiana, but we also have um, a lot of seniors this year. Um, I mean, Jordan Hardesty, uh, Al Dursi, who is our setter, uh, Elizabeth Hargrove, Jasmine, we have a lot of people who are coming back, so um, I don't have to reteach a lot of things, but we got a lot of growth uh, to have in our season, but I'm very excited for next season as well. Congratulations to our girls softball and volleyball teams. Woo! Northwest Classen's own Elizabeth Gonzalez has qualified for state and cross country. She will be the only female runner to represent OKCPS at the 6A state meet. She will run tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. at Edmond Santa Fe. So if you see her today, make sure you tell her that you are rooting for her. This week we with some students in the hall with Tatiana to see the best fits of the week. Uh, Q. Uh, what would you rate your fit on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, this is some chill. I kind of rolled out of bed and threw this on. I said like a solid 7. seven and you think other people would agree? Yeah. Well, what doesn't make it a 10? Why is it not a 10? Um, you feel me? I mean, I could have I could have really put it on and wore a different hoodie. Like, I could have wore like, you know, a central hoodie, but I ain't trying to do all that. You feel me? All right. Thank you. Who am I here with? Um, Chris, man. Chris, yeah. What would you rate this fit on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, he's a 10 for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What would you rate your fan of one to ten? I'll rate myself like a two. Two? What, why isn't it a ten? Because like I'm really just I'm really just not a ten. Oh. Do you think other people would agree that uh, you're a two? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Who am I here with? Lindsay. And what would you rate this on a scale of one to ten? Ooh. Oh, the fit? I'm gonna give it like a four point five. Four point five? What would you rate your fit? 
I'm gonna have to give it like a five. I think it's tough. I think it's tough. Why is it not a ten? It's it's too lazy. It's too bummy. Thank you. And what would you rate this on a scale? The fit on the scale one to ten. One to ten. Let me see. The fit. Not the, the girl. The fit. The fit. It's it's good. It's good. It's cool. Uh, it's cool. But me personally, I wouldn't have all them charms on my Crocs. Okay, and um, what would you rate your fit right now? My fit is basic. Not out of 10 though? It's a 3. Why is it not a 10? It's not a 10. I woke up this morning. Thank you. I was the house. It's not a Thank you. What would you rate his fit on a scale 1 to 10? That's a 0. 0? What, what would you rate your fit on a scale of 1 to 10? I mean, I say. Yeah. Do you think other people would agree? Yeah. All right. Thank you. What would you rate this fit on a scale of one to ten? Wilmer, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. And what do you rate your fit right now? Like a six. Six. Why is it not a ten? It could be better. It could be better. What's your favorite part about the outfit, though? Probably shirt. It's pretty nice. It's tough. Thank you. And what would you rate this fit on a one to ten? Eight. An eight. Yeah. yeah. What would you rate your fit on a scale of one to ten? Four. Four? I like it. Why is it not a 10? I don't know. <laughs> I like it. It's nice. Thank you. Thank you. What would you rate this fit on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, the picture or the girl? The fit. Oh, the fit. Um, that's a solid 7. 7? And what would you rate your fit on a scale of 1 to 10? Solid 3. Why is it not a 10? Um, it's bummy. Yeah, it's trash. Thank you. And what would you rate this fit on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, a solid 10 out of 10. 10? All right. What would you rate your fit on a scale of 1 to 10? Like a uh, six. Why is it not a ten? Um, I don't know. It's all over the place. <laughs> you. Just a reminder that you can send in a shout out through our Google survey if you want to shout out a friend, teacher, boyfriend, or girlfriend. You can scan the QR code on the screen and we can give you a shout out on our next broadcast. Well, that's all we have for you today. We hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe. Stay classy, Northwest. Bye.